Hello, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of the Valder Beebe Show's That Celebrity Interview. Dr. Biden is here. He's a Mayo Clinic physician, and he's going to talk with us and tell us about 80% of the adults experience lower back pain. Tell us about back pain, because I hear people complaining about that all the time, Dr. Biden. Uh, yes, absolutely. Back pain is one of the most uh, common reasons that people go to see their uh, doctor. In fact, in some surveys, it's the number one reason for people to visit their primary care doctor. Neck pain, which is closely related, uh, also tends to be a, a top five reason uh, for people to see their doctor, meaning between back and neck pain, um, those, uh, a majority of Americans will end up uh, having them severe enough that they necessitate uh, a trip to the doctor's office. And in addition, the two conditions can be very costly as well, not just in terms of the medical treatments, but there's a hidden economic cost, especially with back pain, People have to miss work, there's lost wages, uh, lost income, and um, uh, there, there's an impact on the economy uh, itself. And some people estimate that to be over $100 billion a year. Okay. I think in, in our lifestyles, the way we live, maybe you intermittently, you know, gardening and you, you know, you're in a position too long, and I, I'm thinking that's normal back pain. But what are some of the symptoms that you have a problem? So uh, there's a number of nerves, joints, muscles in the back that can become inflamed and cause pain. Um, initially, if, it, if the back pain is located around the back, the most common causes would include musculofascial pain, pain that's coming from the muscles. And the initial treatments for that are going to be non-operative. So you're going to have people who um, undergo physical therapy, potentially injections, um, uh, potentially acupuncture, chiropractic care. It's really when the back pain starts to be associated with leg pain or when the neck pain is associated with arm pain or uh, when you also start to experience weakness. That's when things are really severe and, and chances are at that point your primary care doctor will send you on to uh, see a surgeon or a specialist in that area. Okay, so when it's time to see a surgeon, let's say that that becomes your diagnosis, what's the long-term implications of that for you? What's the outcome? Is it good? So uh, that's a good question. There's a number of surgical treatments. Uh, some of them are open, which is the traditional method, and others are minimally invasive. Personally, I'm a neurosurgeon, and I specialize in uh, minimally invasive spinal surgery. With minimally invasive surgeries, we have novel techniques that uh, can reduce length of stay, um, can uh, reduce uh, uh, the size of the incisions and can spare the muscles. So depending on exactly what you need done, uh, there can be very positive outcomes uh, for you. Okay, so give me, we talked about some problems. What about some lifestyle changes? Give me some proactive steps that people can maybe avoid or minimize having these types of problems. Right. That's a great question. Um, the, one of the things to keep in mind is um, the back, you want to minimize strain on the back. And so weight loss is very important, particularly weight loss around the core and core strengthening. Those are things that can minimize the amount of pressure on the back, reduce the amount of strain. On top of that, although you want to um, exercise and be healthy and have an active lifestyle, very high impact activities can be very strenuous on the joints of the back. So uh, all of those are, are key things to keep in mind. Okay. Doctor, is there a place online that my audience can find out more information about this uh, problem we talked about, back pain? 
Absolutely. You can go on the Mayo Clinic website. There's a lot of information there. And um, what you'll find with Mayo is that there's multidisciplinary teams that uh, work on individualizing plans for every patient. And uh, there's a lot of novel therapies as well and treatments um, and, and even, uh, uh, you know, both for conservative and for surgical care. Uh, and so you'll be able to find those on the Mayo website. I want my audience to know that Dr. Biden is a neurosurgeon. He's also the medical director of the Mayo Clinic Neurosurgical Registry. Dr. Biden, this has been very enlightening. Thank you for taking the time to be my guest today on the Velder BB Show. Thank you for having me.